going on guys um today we're gonna do a little, uh, something a little different um uh, instead of a review we're actually gonna talk about how to buy the proper running shoe for you um it's not as simple as going in uh liking the price and the color and picking that um if you do that you might just end up hurting yourself there are two really important pieces of information you want to know before buying your shoe and that is your gait and your arch um the arch analysis you can do yourself or you can go into a footwear store and basically if you're going to do it at home you're going to need a small bowl of water um, you're going to need a cardboard or newspaper just lay that on the ground um, step into the bowl and then put your foot on the cardboard or newspaper and just look at it and then you can pretty much see whether you have a low high or medium arch for the gait analysis again you're going to have to go into a footwear store for that uh, pretty much what they're going to do is have you run on the treadmill, um, record you, and then play back in slow motion, and they're going to watch how your feet move when you're running. So everything from your initial strike to your transition to the toe off, and then the swing phase, and then back down to when you strike again. Um, yeah, so those are the two things you want to know before going in. So ask the associate some questions after that. Um, you want to know whether you're under or over pronating or whether you're a neutral runner So over pronating is when you your, your foot starts to roll inward when when you strike the ground um, a lot, uh, This happens a lot for people with flat feet um, That's not always the case though because I, I do know some people with high arches who over pronate Now for that what you're going to look for is a stability shoe um, reason why is because stability shoes have a built-up medial posting here so like the brick uh, GCS 14 um, this gray area also indicates that um, it's a stability shoe so you'll find a lot of indi uh, indicators from different companies like the dynamic dual max will sometimes have this gray bar here as well or sometimes we just have a little design the Mizunos you see the, um, the fan wave stuff like that um, so basically it's a built-up post and when you start pronating that post is going to catch you and kind of uh, level you back out to the to your and the neutral gait again. The person who under pronates is the person with the high arch, just because of the simple fact that you're now all your weight's going to be uh, shifted to that side, so you're going to be under pronating. The reason why you're going to need a neutral cushioning shoe when you under pronate because you're not taking in shock effectively when you're under pronating. Um, this when you pronate, it's the body's natural way of. Uh, attenuating shock so even if you're a neutral runner you will tend to pronate a little bit and if you do see that when they play back your gait analysis don't be alarmed you're still a neutral runner like I said it's just a natural way of taking a shot so again if you're rolling on the outside you're not taking it in effectively so the neutral cushioning shoes have um, a softer midsole so the, the midsole will take the, the impact for you so uh, the neutral runner of course can be fitted into a neutral shoe the reason being is because he has a natural um, he has a natural and proper um, gait and because of that he doesn't need to alter anything in his running he doesn't need any extra support if, unless he wants it unless you're seeking that um, the neutral shoes will give you the most cushioning out of any class um, doesn't have much of an arch support and that's just because for the simple fact that you don't need to alter your running so if you are in the neutral gait, lucky you, you don't have to lug around extra weight or have all these other things done to you. That's all I really got, man. Um, unless you have any more questions, go ahead and email me at goodreviews at gmail.com and I'll be more than happy to get back to you with any questions you might have. Um, so yeah, make sure you guys go to your nearest uh, running specialty shop, get yourself fitted, get in the right shoes, and have some fun. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more. Later.